Okay, so I'm starting to pick tomatoes here. Really picking tomatoes. <clears throat> There's a cream one I don't need to pick yet. See what happens if you leave them too long? That happens. When I get ones that have this in it, I just drop them back in. Oops, where did they fall out? You got a big green one right there. I do breed fried tomatoes. I'm not worried about any frost yet in Michigan. I do worry about. But I guess I got tomatoes in the house still, so I'm gonna have to use those to. Yeah, I'll have to make. I'll have to make them chili or something today, and just put fresh tomatoes in it. We got some little ones still. A lot of tomatoes for us. Some nice looking ones right here. And here. And there. These are the ones that get funny looking shapes. I think it's funny. They remind me of old fashioned tomatoes. They get this weird shapes on them. Oh, yeah, that thing itself is unhooked. Look at that one. So, yeah. Gonna get it off. It's got like baby ones want to grow on it. See that? There's no way it's all hooked together. I'm gonna have to sit you up for a second. Hopefully, not fall over. I don't know what they're the green ones. Look at that. Look at that. The green ones are still on there. Huh. That's weird. That's how much I got so far. You guys are everywhere. Not today. That would be easy if I set it down, but it's not working the way I wanted it to. So there's no way to have it back. This one's kind of funny looking too. Some of them are just not like these ones look really nice. Some are really nice, and some aren't not so nice. And if you wait too long, that's what happens. I leave them. If they make babies, cool. If they don't. In the fertilizer. Quite a bit of tomatoes in there, huh? Another one over here. Then I got cherry tomatoes to go pick. See if I missed any all the way down. Got some flowers blooming in there. So let's go over and do the other tomatoes. I might be better off to walk out this way, it's closer. I have a bee that followed me out here and wants to get in my hair. So I, bend, I had to bend over just to make them go somewhere else. I didn't want to swat at him in case he's a hornet because then they could, they may attack. My daughter made me that when she was in Volk. Oh my gosh, she's 30 now I think. 12 years ago. I could come out here and water too because it didn't get much rain. And these need to be watered so they can rebloom and deadheaded. So let's see what baby ones we got over here. Because I did all the cherry tomatoes over this way. There's a whole bunch of them right there. If I can get them without them falling. So they won't fall right off. I'm still got a lot of green ones. Not a lot, but a few green ones. Oopsie, one fell. Fell someplace. And these are like orange ones. That's a herb. It smells really good. Here we go. Any other ones? These are supposed to be the candy sweets. I just dropped one. 
Yeah, they're really good. One of the channels I watch, she says to pick them in the hot pot of the day, which would be right now because it's 72. And it's going to be no higher than 72. That means I got to pick these two up. These are fine because I dropped them. I got a lot of green ones in there. Not a lot. I always say a lot. I don't mean a lot. There's some right there. That. The part on oh, red. And the other one's got to change that. And I got these ones. All the hard work you do. And it's nice when you get fresh tomatoes. It tastes so much better than the store. Because they're fresh, of course. We got more, it's gonna keep going for a little while. And we got these ones, they're the grape tomatoes. There's not a lot there. Got a couple right there. So we'll grew right up into the fence, this side. Those two can go a little longer. Yeah, I don't know if I have any peppers left. I picked the last two and then I did stuffed peppers with them. See a red one. Those yellow flowers are still blooming. But yeah, we're just out picking veg vegetables. Looks like there's a green one right there too. Okay guys. It's just short and sweet picking tomatoes. You pray for me, I pray for you, we pray for the world. And everybody have a blessed day. I'll see you in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.